You're watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss. Hi, Clint with Indie Shooter, continuing our coverage of NAB 2019. I'm here with Alan of Zcam. And uh, Alan, tell us a little bit about Zcam. When did the company start? Uh, actually, our company has been six years. We started as uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, in 2015, we launched our first product called Zcam E1, mm -hmm. which was the smallest micro forced 4K camera in the world. And since that time, how many cameras uh, have you developed? Actually, uh, in the past two years, from 2016 mm -hmm. to 2017, we have been developing a series of VR cameras, including the uh, 360 and 180 cameras based on Micro Four Third system. Yeah, and but uh, back to last year, 2018, we uh, back on the track of the 4K digital cameras. Mm -hmm. So we delivered a second generation of the E series called Zcam E2, which is a 4K 120 FPS, 10 bit color. Uh, also micro frozen camera. Mm -hmm. And this year you have a, a new camera, yes? Yes, yes. Actually, uh, after we launched our uh, Zcam E2 last year, we got a lot of feedbacks from our customer because they like uh, the quality of the image of our camera and they like the small camera size. But the only limitation is the sensor size. It's a micro frozen uh, sensor with micro frozen lens mount. So it's a limitation on the, on the lens options and the sensor. So. Uh, Based on that hardware platform, we developed a new, uh, more high-end one, where, uh, which is a 6K Super 35 CMOS sensor with uh, EF and PR mount, which is this one. This is new one called Zcam E2 S6, means Super 35 6K. And, and what is the frame rate on this one? This one will be uh, 6 FPS at the most, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, talk a little bit about, uh, if you say it's a Super 35 CMOS sensor, right? Yes, yes. It's a very good quality sensor for video. It has also dual native ISO, same as the previous E2. And so it has a very good performance in low light environments. Internally, it can do H.265, it can do ProRes. Also, we're waiting for the authorization or licensing from Apple. Also, do RAW internally with 12-bit RAW and 14 RAW as options. What does it record to? What type of media? Uh, we use CFast 2.0, okay. same as the previous Zcam E2, mm -hmm. because it has the fastest uh, interface and very stable uh, yeah, storage. And uh, what inputs and outputs does it have? Input, we have uh, audio input. Mm -hmm. like uh, We have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Mm -hmm. And also at the back, we have a mini XLR. Mm -hmm. It's uh, compatible with uh, RM mini audio cables. It's connected to a dual channel XLR microphone. Yeah, used for professional uh, audio recording. And also you can see from the back, it's interesting. Uh, it's different from the other cameras. We have Wi-Fi antenna. We have Ethernet port. So you can connect your camera either with Wi-Fi or with Ethernet cable to get a video stream and also fully control this camera remotely. Control it with uh, what, like a phone or iPhone or something no, like you that? You can either control it with an iPhone. For example, this is our iPhone app. And also you can control with a PC software. We will oh. provide a, the kind of controlling uh, application on the PC, yeah. What are you able to control, actually? The frame rate and everything? Or? Actually, nearly everything. Because we open the API, we, we provide all the parameters. We open all the controls of the camera through, to the uh, Ethernet uh, interfaces. Yeah, so actually, this camera is a cine cinema camera. can do very quality video, like do some MTV, commercial, even films. But it also can do live streaming. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah, that, and that's really important right now because everybody's doing live streaming as yeah. we're doing live streaming yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. Live streaming with very good quality image. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. What type of battery does it take? Uh, actually, it used the standard Sony MPF series, oh, and yeah, also yeah. we have look our camera has very good power performance. For example, the Zcam E2 we have launched uh, the 4K one with single MPF, for example, 970 battery. Mm -hmm. It can run four hours continuously. Great. Yeah. Wow. Four hours continuously on one battery. Yeah, one battery. Yeah. Uh, this one may be a little bit shorter because it has a bigger power, so, but I think at least three hours. Yeah. And uh, does it have a monitor or something like that? No, we, we have a very small monitor, kind of a screen on the top. Oh. It's still a monitor, you know, mm -hmm. you can use it. But yeah, you can, you can uh, connect it to an external monitor with a HDMI cable. 
Also, we have our app on iOS, mm -hmm. called Z Camera. Mm -hmm. You can, with a uh, USB cable, mm -hmm. we can also use the iPhone as the monitor. Oh, okay. And also the control panel, you can see, you can see the live view of the camera. And also you get access to all the settings of the camera with the touch screen. Is that linking Bluetooth? Is that how it? Uh, no, we don't have Bluetooth here, mm -hmm. but we have Wi-Fi. It's also, wifi? it's Wi-Fi uh, connected, it's also work, yeah. So you set this up as the the Wi-Fi network, and then the phone connects to it. Is that yes. how? Yes. Right. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing to have the to have the image and also have the capabilities. I don't know of any camera that has that right now. Yeah, actually, we build our camera based on uh, it's IP based, mm -hmm. right? So we provide the Ethernet, the Wi-Fi, and also we utilize the application on mobile mobile phones, right? Mm -hmm. So you can easily use the camera with whatever you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In regards to the image that comes out of the camera, uh, does it produce like a log image, or can you like? Yes, uh, uh, from the very beginning, like the, even E1 and also the E2, we have our own log called Z log, mm -hmm. and we keep improving our log uh, kind of log uh, curve. So it's uh, it keeps most of the data of the camera, and uh, we also provide official LUTs and official plugins to so you can convert the log file to match to other color spaces. As we want. When does this model ship? Uh, this will be shipped in October this year. But this is not the only model that will be. Yeah, one more thing is that we're also announcing the full frame version with full frame 6K and full frame 8K at the end of this year. Actually, it has the same phone factor as this camera. We share the same body, wow. but use different sensor. Yeah. Wow, uh, how's it able to do that? Doesn't it like generate more heat than a Super 35 sensor? Or? Uh, I think it's not a problem for us actually because our hardware architecture is very advanced. So it's the the power consumption is low, so we can we, we control the, the kind of a power consumption. Yeah. What can people expect in regards to the difference between that and the full frame? Will low light capabilities be better? Or? Actually, we are still evaluating the, the, the full frame sensor, so the spec is not finalized yet. I think we'll share more information uh, later on our Facebook or on the media, yeah. What is the price on, on this one? What is the model again? Uh, this is uh, 6K, so it's called E2-S6. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 4,000 US dollars. 4,000 and will be available in October, yes. and uh, people should keep a lookout for the full frame one later this year, right? Yes, yes right. Mm -hmm. And where can people purchase? Do they purchase through dealers or through your website, or how does that work? Uh, we sell our products on B&H here in US, oh, great. and also post it on our website. Yeah, you can contact us directly, or you can purchase from the B&H, yeah. Oh, excellent. And what is your website? Uh, it's called www.z-cam.com. Yeah, it's very easy to remember. Yeah, Z-cam. Zcam.com. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you very much, Alan. Yeah, You're you. watching Indie Shooter's back-to-back -back coverage of NAB 2019. Sponsored by 16x9, Band Pro Film and Digital, JBC, Manios Digital and Film, Panasonic, Sigma, and Carl Zeiss.